Hello friends, welcome to Libre Do Mathematics. Today we are going to solve a problem from Schema Path Real Analysis book that is the book of introduction to real analysis by Schema Path. Chapter differentiation, page number 348, exercise 15, and question number 7. The problem says a function f is differentiable on closed interval 0 to and f0 equals to 0, f1 equals to 2, and f2 equals to 1. Prove that f dash c equals to 0 for some c in open interval 0 to. Okay, so look to solve this problem, we need to apply Lagrange's mean value theorem. So the Lagrange's mean value theorem says a function f from closed interval a b to r be such that f is continuous on closed interval a b differentiable at every point of open interval a b then there exists at least one point j in open interval a b such that f b minus f a by b minus a equals to f dash j okay so the function f should be continuous on closed interval a b and differentiable on open interval a b okay look now what is given here now here it is given that the function f is differentiable on closed interval 0 to so let us divide the closed interval 0 to in two parts that is 0 1 and 1 2 okay so the function is differentiable on closed interval 0 to this means function is differentiable on closed interval 0 1 and closed interval 0 to okay so obviously since the function is differentiable on closed interval 0 1 so function f is continuous there so the function f is continuous on closed interval 0 1 and as it is differentiable on closed interval so it is differentiable on open interval as well okay so this function f on closed interval 0 1 satisfies the condition of Lagrange's mean value theorem hence there exists a point c1 in c1 in open interval 0 1 okay so this is we are going by Lagrange's mean value theorem such that f1 minus f0 by 1 minus 0 equals to f dash c1 okay equals to f dash c1 so this means look here f1 minus f0 so f1 minus f0 is look f1 minus f0 is f1 what is the value of f1 it is given here the value of f1 is 2 so we put here 2 minus f0 is 1 look here f0 is 0 sorry f0 is 0 over 1 minus 0 is 1 so this is equals to basically f dash c1 okay so we have f dash c1 equals to 1 sorry 2 and that is greater than 0 so we have f dash c1 greater than 0 we have in hand okay now we will apply Lagrange's theorem on closed interval 1 2 given that the function f is differentiable on closed interval 0 2 so this mean f is continuous sorry it is differentiable it is differentiable on closed interval 0 to so it is also differentiable on closed interval 0 to so since it is differentiable in closed interval it is continuous there so f is continuous on closed interval 1 comma 2 okay now differentiable in closed interval so obviously it is also differentiable in open interval 0 to so this satisfies the two conditions of Lagrange's mean value theorem so again we apply Lagrange's mean value theorem so there exists some c2 belongs to open interval sorry it will be 1 open interval 1 2 such that f dash c2 equals to f2 minus f1 by 2 minus 1 okay now what is f2 let us find the value of f2 look f2 is 1 and f1 is 2 okay so f2 is 1 minus f1 is 2 by 2 minus 1 is 1 so this is basically 1 minus 2 is minus 1 by 1 this is equals to minus 1 this is strictly less than 0 okay so we had that f dash c1 greater than 0 now we had have that 
if dash c2 is less than 0 okay so here c1 belongs to we had that c1 belongs to open interval 0 1 and c2 belongs to open interval 1 2 okay so let us move to the next part now to prove the next part we need darbu theorem let closed interval ab be a closed and bounded interval and a function f from closed interval ab to r be differentiable on closed interval ab okay so let f dash a not equal to f dash b if k be a real number lying between f dash a and f dash b then there exists at least one point c in open interval ab such that f dash c equals to k so basically what darbus theorem says that a derived function if a function is differentiable in closed interval ab and the value in the end points are not equal that is they differ then f dash will take every value in between f dash a and f dash b okay so we have that f dash c1 greater than 0 when c1 belongs to open interval 0 1 and f dash c2 less than 0 when c2 belongs to open interval 1 2 so basically if we consider the closed interval c1 c2 okay then here c1 is greater than 0 okay and less than c2 and c2 is strictly less than 2 okay now we had that in this f is differentiable in closed interval 0 to so obviously f is differentiable in closed interval c1 c2 okay so f is differentiable in closed interval c2 and look f dash c1 look f is differentiable in closed interval ab so here our ab is closed interval c1 c2 and f dash c1 is greater than 0 and f dash c2 is less than 0 that means f dash c1 not equal to f dash c2 okay hence they are if, since this is greater than 0 and this is less than 0 so f will assume every value between f dash c1 and f dash c2 okay since f dash c2 is less than 0 and f dash c1 is greater than 0 there exist a value there exist a value in between the value 0 exist so there will be a point such that c such that f dash c will be equals to 0 okay because by darbu theorem we know that f dash will assume every value between f dash a and f dash b so f dash will assume every value between f dash c1 and f dash c2 now since f dash c1 is greater than 0 and f dash c2 is less than 0 so the point 0 lies in between f dash c1 and f dash c2 so there will be a point c c will be in open interval c1 c2 such that f dash c will be equals to 0 so this we needed to prove and we have now proved this look here we needed to prove that f dash c equals to 0 for some c in open interval 0 to okay and now obviously c1 c2 is contained in open interval 0 to okay so our claim is our claim is readily proved so thank you friends for watching the video hope you have enjoyed the video and hope you will subscribe the channel and if you like this video please subscribe the channel and share the video with your friends and stay tuned with us because we will come back shortly with this kind of video again thank you